And so he made a video about Charlie Kirk on TikTok bashing Charlie Kirk and, and claiming him to be a racist because Charlie Kirk said that if he saw a pilot, a black pilot, get onto the aircraft, he would wonder if that pilot was qualified. Now, Charlie Kirk's entire premise was regarding the United Airlines CEO getting on there saying that they're going to make sure that 50% of all the pilots are black. Or he didn't say black because they don't really care about you black people. Y'all dumb enough to just buy into that people of color stuff. They, they, they mean Mexican people and other people. They, they ain't worried about y'all black folks. You didn't bought hook, line, and sinker into some scam that they didn't scam y'all into. But he said people of color and women. Now, what does he, what women mean these days? They probably mean a trans person. But anyway, it, it's, it, it's, it convolutes the, the argument, it convolutes the conversation when people say that because you, you then go look at the stats and you say, well, the license, licenses that they're giving out, 80% of those licenses are going towards men. And 70% of those licenses are going towards white people. So if 70% of the people that are getting licensed to be pilots are, are, are white, then it's impossible for you to make a fair process and say that half. So that means that 50% of your workforce is going to be white, and then the other 50% are going to comprise of people of color and women. Then, therefore, if you use that model, you're disproportionately underrepresenting qualified white people. Because if they're getting 70% and you're, you're crunching your number down to 50%, if 80% are, are men and you're crunching that number down to 50%, then that means that you, when you go out to look for the most qualified person, you are now overlooking qualified white folks to try to get diversity into the building. Instead of saying we will represent the, the margin of pilot licensing. That means we will have 70% of white because there's 70% of white people that get licensed. And this is how many women get licensed. This is how many minorities get licensed. We're going to represent the curve of people who are applying. So our fairness would be across the board based on people who are actually applying for the job. We don't overrepresent black folks unless you're trying to say that on average black people are more qualified than whites. Now, how do you get to that conclusion? I don't know. Because if you're willing to say black people who are qualified are better qualified than whites, then you also have to be open to the argument that white people who are qualified are better qualified than blacks. But y'all don't want to go down that path because you think it's racial discrimination and bias. Okay, well, you can't, you know, play both sides of the fence. And so the guy made a video, and when black liberals don't know how to respond with facts and they cannot respond with adequate evidence, they begin to attack you on false premises. He claimed that I'm on Charlie Kirk's payroll. I'm not on nobody's payroll. I'm, I'm, I'm Brandon Tatum. I own my own company. And people that I do business with or partner with, they pay my company. They don't pay me. And so I'm not on nobody's payroll. I contract with people or, you know, I'm making that money all as an individual. But he wouldn't know that and he don't care to know that. He just throws out something because he thinks it's a knock on what I do. He says that Brandon makes con money off conservative merch. Or he said he said right wing Trump merch. Well, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of our sales. But some of our biggest products are Christian merch. We do Christian conservative, and we do Trump merch when it's applicable. But most of our number one selling products are Christian merch, and then there's a few Trump sprinkled in there. But when you're a mindless uh, American of African descent with no real strong argument, you come up with these straw man weirdo arguments. And he also tried to say that my livelihood is on bashing black people. Some of my most viral video content is, is uh, content that's social constructed. Uh, I think my most viral video had nothing to do with black people. What was that video? I think it's the, the young kid that he was, um, he came to the school board meeting and just blasted them for putting inappropriate things in school. I think that's my number one top video. Let me look at it real quick. Let me, let me pull it up because I, I want to make sure I'm accurate about what I'm saying. So let's go to videos. I'm going to try to go to pop, popular. The most popular video that I've ever made 
is female athletes get embarrassed competing against men. Number one popular. Second one, uh, teenager, uh, teenage student slam school board for pushing critical race theory. That's my second largest video. My third largest video is George Floyd. And that's simply me describing what happened to George Floyd. It has nothing to do with me bashing uh, black people because essentially I bashed both him and the police officer that was on his back. Enough with the anti-white narrative. That's the next video. Ahmaud Arbery, which is a which is a kind of a police encounter situation, even though he wasn't encountered with the police, but the police had a lot to do with it. Um, that was the second one. Another one is Kevin Gates, who's a black man who's bashing Black Lives Matter as an organization. So none of these are, are necessarily criticizing black people. White privilege is a myth. Jason Aldean. Father confronts trans person in the in the bathroom. Alpha male destroys feminism. The Delta worker against the non-binary fool, uh, trans fool, whatever whatever that person's description is. A mother forced to dilate her uh, trans daughter, which is the celebrity trans person Jazz Jennings, has nothing to do with black people. You still have a penis is the name of this this video, and that is a congressman. Uh, blasting a transgender over the fact that the transgender claimed to be a woman but still got a, a jangalang. Uh, Kurt Russell destroys the view. I mean, I can go down the list. Candace Owens made this girl walk off the stage. She was blasting her so hard on the show, made her walk off the stage. South Park is the next video. I mean, we go down the list. I can tell that's like the top 10 of the videos. They are not bashing or really have anything much to do with black people specifically mostly police response and the, and the like. So it, it is interesting that this gentleman decided to come out and, and try to say these negative things about Charlie Kirk. And he also made this reference, which I think was absolutely ridiculous and is consistently ridiculous across the board. I'm talking about it not just because he, did, he does it, but people do it to hate black conservatives. He claimed that the Republican Party only has me around because I'm the representative I'm the black face of their racism. And he also said that I cover for Charlie's racism. That's why Charlie pays me to speak at events and stuff. It's like, bro, can we, can we put it together what racism really is? If Charlie Kirk was racist, why would Charlie Kirk have me doing anything for him? Why would a racist white man have a black man going to talk to white students around the, around the United States of America. You would think that a white man would want white students to not hear anything from a black man because they believe that black men aren't the most qualified or whatever negative connotation they have based on race. Or if you're trying to say that Charlie Kirk likes the things that I say and he think I'm the most effective, which I have been voted as the most effective speaker, and I say effective speaker, but I've been the most popular speaker for several years going to the colleges and universities then therefore his racism is that he's racially biased towards thinking that I'm doing a great job. So <laughs> because I'm black, I'm somehow a great speaker. I mean, people, they, they get into this racial conundrum and they just sound like complete idiots.